How's it going everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors. I don't know if you're going to be able to see me with the sun in the background or not. But uh, check number three. This is a uh, daily vlog four of my beaver trapping daily vlog series. Um, I'm going to try to run this through the end of the season. Uh, which is the 31st. So I got nine more days. Um, I'm going to try to do my uploads at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It should give me enough time to do what I got to do, editing and all my other errands. So uh, it's a nice cold morning, 22 degrees. Um, camp was warm. I'm in a good mood. Uh, yesterday I was sort of dying, and I want to apologize for that. Um, you know, my little problems is nothing compared to what a lot of people are going through, and uh, I realize that. And uh, I don't need anybody to feel sorry for me or anything. You know, I'm just venting. And uh really appreciate everybody watching and uh I'll do my best not to not to whine. And uh hope everybody's enjoying and uh stay tuned. I could already see that 330's empty. What happened there? Oh, I see it. I thought the trap was missing. So, empty set. This one's empty. bad thought last night that uh, my safeties might be on but they're not they're they're both uh, they're both good to go well that one is <laughs> one of the middle of the night panic moments I woke up and was like uh oh did I take the safeties off of those traps this one here is good safeties are off both of them See the pond sort of started to ice over here. There goes the ones I, I get excited about. Uh oh, we got something. I see something floating. I see something floating. I see something floating. We got us a beaver, baby. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like a small one, but we're gonna take it no matter what. I mean I want to make sure I got you going in the in the uh, GoPro app I'll tell you what awesome. Yes, baby. And uh, I don't, I, I'll give a shout out to people later, but there's some people that really helped me with this. Judas Davis, uh, I got a front foot catch on that one too. Perfect. Yes. That's my second beaver of my life ever there, guys. So uh, I'm pretty pumped about it. Let me, uh, let me unpack my stuff and then uh, I'll get back to you. I don't want to. Pretty pumped. It's, it doesn't look like the biggest beaver, but it's a beaver.
stay there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Like I said, that's my second beaver ever. It's definitely not the biggest beaver, but he's he's uh he's gonna be good to eat. And uh, I'm gonna reset this. Um, one thing about this, where I'm trapping is, is um I don't want to. I'm just trying to remove a few here. Um. We like having the beavers and uh so i'm not gonna go crazy here I, i'm either looking at maybe two or three and then i have a spot right down the road that i was probably gonna relocate so i'm gonna do a little research i don't wanna i don't wanna remove the population i wanna like i said we like having them here we come back and check them out and we enjoy them they're far enough away from everything that they're really not going to do too much damage and uh we can uh we can continue to have them in it so but I had him with a front foot catch. Pretty cool. I love it. Uh, you know, I was in a good mood already today starting out and uh, this just makes it better. Uh, awesome. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and take care of him. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the cook today, but I am definitely going to do a catch and cook. Um, so watch out for that. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be today or tomorrow, but one of these in the next day or so, I will be cooking him and uh, trying it. I want to do some research on recipes and whatnot. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, let me get this set made and then I'll get back to you. All right, everybody. We're good. Um, there we go. There's the beaver. There's my reset. Still got three other traps plus that one, so I got four still going here. Um, pretty awesome day. Uh, like I said, I woke up in a good mood, and uh, this just adds to it. Um, looking forward to uh, trying this. It's going to be interesting. Um, I'm lost. I'm a loss of words. <laughs> but I will want to say, uh, you know, I, I will thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to keep going. And uh, I got a long walk out with this guy. Thank God he's not the biggest of beavers because uh, I'm going to probably carry him. I'm not even going to drag him with the sled. Probably just be easier to carry him. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take care of this guy. And uh, I think I might go to truth try to do some trout fishing this afternoon depending on how uh, how the day goes here um, I wrenched around on my quad yesterday and I figured out the problem on that um, what it was is it was the fuel pump um, so I know I need a fuel pump on my quad and uh, we have only nine days left of the season by the time I get the part it's just not I'm, it's just not worth rushing it right now so I'm just letting it sit it's been sitting um, I did find another pond that's a lot easier to trap than this one so if I get another one out of here I may be pulling these traps and uh, relocating up to the next one just because I don't want to put a hurt on the population here like I said earlier in the video um, we enjoy having these beavers here and uh, it's sort of uh, I'm trying to get the pond in the background it's sort of cool for us that we can bring um, the kids back here and check out this beaver ponds and everything it's like you know it's something a lot of people don't have and uh it's on our property so we sort of we sort of enjoy the beavers and there are otters in here i actually did have a um a catch on an otter a couple years ago and uh unfortunately it wasn't there was no open season here but next year there is a season here on otters so i will be doing some beaver trap otter trapping it's a short season it's only nine days but it coincides with beaver so i'll be here setting for beaver and otter next year at that point i think that's in uh I think it might be in February, so it's about a month ago. But so to look forward to that next year, and uh, 
as well as everything. I'll be out running coyote line and everything. Uh, you know, I plan on doing this moving forward. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, you know, this is, uh, it's awesome. It really is. It's, it's amazing. So let me, uh, let me pack up my gear and start trudging this guy out of here. And, uh, uh, I'll be doing a cook and clean or, uh, I got the catch. So I'll be doing the cook and eat. And, uh, I'm not sure if I'll get to that today because the weather's nice and I want to try to use this weather. Tomorrow's supposed to be a sort of a not so great day. So tomorrow I'll probably cook him up. Um, today I want to, like I said, I want to try to maybe possibly get out and do some fly fishing for trout. Um, stay tuned. All right, guys. So here's the beaver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to skin them and then I'm going to butcher them. And I'm going to get the caster glands off of them. And uh, I'm not going to videotape all that because, uh, I'll be honest, this is going to be my first time doing all that. So this is going to be, a, I'm going to be watching Coon Creek Outdoors a lot. I've already watched part of the video. I'm going to go back for references. Any, but I want to show you how I made this. This was how I got him out of the woods. I made a shoulder strap for him because it was a long walk. So, but pretty nice beaver. Uh. He's a little bigger than I thought he was. He felt heavy carrying out. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back in and out as I go with some. Uh, I'm not going to videotape the whole thing. I'm just going to do some highlights. So stay tuned. All right, guys. I figure I'll give you an update here. I got them all skinned out. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the back straps. And then uh, I'm going to do the caster last. Um, you guys are watching this and you see something I'm missing here on a step what I should be taking off of this thing because I do want to use everything I can um, skin dot I'm pretty happy with it um, I didn't cut no holes I think I did a pretty decent job um, like I said it was the first one I ever did so I'm pretty happy with it it's definitely gonna go on my wall um, all right, let me uh, let me get these back straps high and then uh, cast her and then uh, I'll get back to you. So here we go. Uh, I got my caster. I don't want to touch the back straps because I just touched the caster. I was expecting a little bit bigger back straps, but they're uh, that's plenty for me. And and here goes the pelt. Um, I did save the tail. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but um. I know a lot of people have things they do with the tail so um like i said earlier if you guys know anything that i'm missing a step where i can get some quality meat off of that thing please leave me the feedback um this is the first time my dog doesn't know what to think of this he just watched me from the house so um be sure to like subscribe comment share um and stay tuned. Like I said, I'll be doing daily uh, daily vlogs from now to the end of the season, and then uh, we'll see what the state of the world is after that. I may end up staying up here, and we'll do some uh, some some uh, foraging, and maybe some trout fishing. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm in no real big hurry to go back to the city right now, so I'm pretty much gonna ride this side as much as I can up here. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, uh, share me out, and uh, appreciate it. And stay tuned.